The Power of the Evil Horde, featuring He-Man and Skeletor. This is the story of the power of the evil horde. You can read along with me in your book. You'll know it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Dark, menacing clouds whirled across the planet Eternia. As the storm gained speed, it headed straight for Snake Mountain, the evil stronghold of Skeletor. Webstor climbed down from his lookout to warn Skeletor. Master, a hurricane is coming. Skeletor sensed something strange in the fierce winds. This is no natural storm. Oh, it appears to be the work of some evil being. Suddenly, a gruesome face took shape in the black clouds. Skeletor knew right away who was behind the storm. Hordak, the ruthless leader of the evil horde. Webstar cowered behind his master. But why has he come here? What could he want with us? It is me he wants. Did I never tell you? Hordak was once my teacher here on Eternia, but I grew too powerful for him. I taught him a lesson or two. Long fingers of lightning split the sky as the scowling face of Hordak drew nearer. Greeting, Skeletor! You are finally going to pay for your betrayal! Skeletor shook his fist at Hordak. You weak old fool! You will never rule me again! <laughs> we shall see after I gain the power of Castle Grayskull. Meanwhile, at Castle Grayskull, Orko kept his eye on the clouds. Hmm, something just doesn't feel right about this storm, Adam. Yeah, I know what you mean. It seemed to come up so quickly. Suddenly... Hordak's face appeared in the clouds over Grayskull. Men at arms! Look! Who is that? Ah, so it's Hordak who's behind this weather. Adam whirled around. Hordak? From the evil horde? Excuse me, Man at arms. I just remembered something I had to do. Prince Adam rushed from the room and pulled his sword from its scabbard. By the power of Grayskull! I have the power! Energy coursed through Adam's body. Huge muscles bulged out as his chest expanded. Adam was going through the most amazing transformation of all. I am He-Man, Master of the Universe. Now to welcome Hordak to Eternia. The heroic warriors raced out of the castle. Suddenly, a thick bolt of lightning streaked down from above. When the smoke cleared, there stood the evil horde. Hordak stepped to the front. So, this is Castle Grayskull, seat of all power in Eternia. I must get inside. Leech, suck the energy from the warriors. Leech leaped at man-at-arms, his suction cup hand sticking to the warrior's skin. He-Man tried to rescue his friend. Let him go! Suddenly, Mantena's eyes popped up and sent stun rays streaming at He-Man, who was thrown backward from their force. <laughs> but He-Man wasn't down for long. As Grizzlor tried to grab Orko from the air, he-Man leaped at the hairy henchman and knocked him right into Mantena. Both evil horde members went sprawling. Then He-Man spun around and swung his sword mightily at Leech. The master of power suction lost his grip on Man-at-Arms. Man-at-Arms could hardly stand. He's weakened me, He-Man. Then do not fight. 
Go for help. I'll hold them off. Hordak smiled and advanced slowly on He-Man. Now that we know your strengths and weaknesses, He-Man, let's finish this little battle, eh? A blinding ball of energy suddenly burst over the warrior's head. Orko gasped when he saw what caused the explosion. Skeletor! That's right! I've come to stop Bordak from entering Castle Grayskull. Eternia is my territory, Bordak. <laughs> Go back to Etheria! Hordak clenched his fists. You thought I would never escape your trap, but you were wrong. I am more powerful and more evil than ever. Neither you nor He-Man can stop me now. Hordak pointed at Skeletor, surrounding the evil warrior with an eerie glow. You are now locked in my magical prison. Let's see you figure that out, pupil. And as for you, He-Man... Hordak reached up and suddenly grabbed Orko out of the air. Skeletor's words about territory are well taken. I am returning to Etheria. If you want to save your little wizard, you'll have to fight me at the Fright Zone. He-Man swung mightily at Hordak. But it was too late. The evil horde leader threw up his hands in a flourish. All of the evil horde disappeared in a cloud of smoke, along with Orko and Skeletor. For a moment, He-Man didn't know which way to turn. Etheria? The Fright Zone? I know nothing of these places. How can I save my friend Orko? But there was one who had the answer. The voice of the sorceress echoed through He-Man's mind. Go to the center of a fine jungle. There you will find an enchanted tree with silver leaves. Pick a leaf and carry it with you. Each time you stroke it, you will be transported through the gate between Eternia and Etheria. A heavy mist shrouded the vine jungle in darkness. He-Man slashed his way through the tangled growth as quickly as he could. Finally, he came to a clearing. There, shimmering in a strange silver light, stood the enchanted tree. He-Man picked a leaf and stroked it. Suddenly, a warm wind rushed through the jungle, and a great dark hole began to take shape near He-Man. The passage to Etheria. Here I come, Orko. The opening swallowed He-Man right up. In an instant, he was standing on the bleak terrain of Etheria, and not far away stood his destination, the Fright Zone. As He-Man neared the trap-filled stronghold of terror, an evil pair of eyes spied his movements. Mantenna called to his leader. Uh, He-Man has arrived, Hordak. Mm, shall we ambush him? Hordak joined his spy at the lookout post. No, the treacherous traps of the Fright Zone will take care of him. We won't even have to lift a finger. With a mighty leap, He-Man scaled the walls of the Fright Zone. Maybe I'll be able to take Hordak by surprise. When He-Man reached the top of the hill, he was the one who was surprised. An old dead tree suddenly reached out with its shriveled branches and held He-Man tight. Trapped by a tree. Well, I'm just going to have to chop it down. He-Man struggled to reach his sword, but the beastly branches just grip the heroic warrior even tighter. By Eternia, enough of this. You're going to be firewood, tree. He-Man flexed his giant muscles, and the branches splintered into thousands of pieces. 
As he broke free of the tree, He-Man heard a familiar voice. He-Man, he it's Orko. Be careful. This place is full of traps. He-Man raced to the prison. Hang on, little friend. You'll be free with just one swing. He-Man stepped back and raised his sword. But a vicious rock monster hidden in the ground grabbed his feet. <laughs> Trapped again. I'm losing my balance. Orko zipped about frantically in his cell. Watch out, He-Man! Watch out for the... Dragon! His feet trapped. He-Man fell backward, almost into the jaws of the roaring dragon. Got to get free of this rock first. With one swift kick, He-Man loosened the rock monster's grip. Now for this fire-breathing beast. The dragon squirmed farther out of its dark cave. He-Man easily dodged the flames that shot from its horrible mouth. I can't get a clean shot at this foul creature. Guess I'll have to try a new strategy. He-Man jumped up to the top of the dragon's lair and took aim at his prey from above. While the creature tries to turn itself around, I'll knock it out. The dragon was out cold. Orko cheered for He-Man. You defeated all of Hordak's traps. He-Man raced to free his friend. All but this prison, Orko. But it won't slow me down. Just then, Grizzlor sneaked up on He-Man. <laughs> I'll stop you cold. Raising his mighty claws, the hairy beast took a swipe at He-Man. But He-Man ducked out of the way just in time. He-Man swung his sword again and again at Grizzlor as he raced up the stone stairway next to the prison. He kicked open the release lever and the prison door flew open. Hurry, Orko. Get out. The wizard zoomed to freedom. Now to give Grizzlor a taste of his own hospitality. In one swift move, He-Man reached down and shoved Grizzlor into the prison. There. All locked up. As He-Man joined Orko, Hordak suddenly materialized. He had Skeletor with him, still bound in the magic prison. You may have foiled my fiendish traps this time, He-Man. But there is one thing you cannot escape. My magical might. Hordak zapped He-Man with a huge laser blast from his fingertips. But He-Man deflected it easily with his sword. He-Man marched right up to Hordak. Nice try, Hordak. But I'll have the last word in this fight. And the last punch! He-Man delivered a super smack that sent Hordak right up into the branches of the tree trap. Your traps seem to be working fine now, Hordak. Your evil ways have worked against you, not for you. As He-Man and Orko turned to leave, Skeletor stopped them. Please, He-Man, you can't leave me here trapped in this horrible spell. Take me back to Eternia with you. He-Man looked into Skeletor's eyes. How can I trust you? You have tried to harm me many times before. You have my word as a warrior. Please, I'll never survive if I'm left at Hordak's mercy. He-Man turned to Orko. Can you break the spell that holds Skeletor? Why, I, I think so, but He-Man... Then free him. Let us all return to our home world. Orko cast a magic spell, and Skeletor was freed. He-Man pulled out the silver leaf. Back to Eternia! As soon as the trio stepped on Eternian soil, Skeletor disappeared in a puff of black smoke. Thanks for the ride, fools! See you in battle, He-Man! <laughs> Orko couldn't believe his ears. How could you let Skeletor trick you like that, He-Man? I knew Skeletor would turn on us. But if he had stayed in Etheria, he would have been doomed. I could not ignore his pleas. We must always value life. 
even the life of one who opposes us. Arco shook He-Man's hand. You are truly a brave and generous hero, He-Man. Now, if only some of that would rub off on Skeletor and Hordak. <laughs> <laughs>